All right, what's going on guys? Today, we are fitting a set of towing mirrors to a 200 series Land Cruiser. So come with me, I'm gonna show you a basic step-by-step -step on how to do it and why I'm doing it. I'll explain at the end once we have the finished product. So come with us. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take this little cover off here, all right? It's gonna expose the top screw. You literally just put your finger behind it and it pops off. And there's the first screw hole right there. The rest of it, we need to actually take the door trim off. So I'll show you how to do that. So next you just wanna get a screwdriver and just poke it in here and you'll hear it crack. And that's it, it'll actually pop out. And you just open the door and that comes out. Let's just get to the first screw we need to, to take the door cart off. Next, we just wanna take the uh, power window module off. So you just get a screwdriver in there and just lever it gently and it'll pop up. And then just remove that and uh, we'll unplug it. All right, so next we're gonna take this L piece of plastic off here and you just need to pry it off the door. And once it starts to come, it'll just pop off. Just be gentle and it'll come off. And it'll remove like that, you end up with that. That reveals screw hole here and another one here. And they're the only three screws that hold the actual door cut on. The rest is held on with clips. Next, we're just gonna remove the screws. And if you use a magnetic screwdriver, screws should come out, no worries. Look at that, boom. All right, so next, we're gonna just pry the door card off the door. There's these plastic clips. Just like these ones, just here, okay? Be gentle, work your way around the door, all the way around till it, the door card's free like that. Then we're gonna push, put a little bit of pressure on the back and then pull the door card off. Now there's still gonna be things attached to it so we don't wanna drop it. All right, so once the door card's off, this lead coming out here is for your power mirrors. So we're gonna unplug that. There's one bolt, two bolt, three bolt, and mirrors off. All right, just gonna undo these and the mirror will come off. All right, new mirrors are in here. Let's get the appropriate side and let's get it on. All right, so we've put the new mirror on. I did need to get someone to give me a hand just to sit it on the other side, but done those three bolts back up the new wiring harness plugs back into the factory one and we're good to go. All right, so we just put the screws back in, nip them up, not too tight because they're only going into plastic, yeah? And then, on the hole, Dunsky, put the plastic trims back on, plug your wiring back in you're good to go. All right, door trim all back on. Didn't mark anything. Last thing to pop back on was this little cover. And that is it. Job done. Set of mirrors. And the reason why I put these on here was so that you can do this. Adjust them out and I can see bust the caravan. All right, so we on the other side now, it's already on. But when you put the uh, plastic trims back together, make sure they go back in the right order, okay? So first one that goes on is the L shape. Then you can put the window, um, window buttons back in, which make sure you have this free and it's not jammed down the door. That can push back in and then just pull your handle out and pop that cover back in. And you're all done. Oh, and, all, and pop this one too. So with these mirrors, I found I had to this is where the um the little plug goes in to hold that piece on now there's a rubber gasket from the new mirror so i just literally just poked the hole in it with a small screwdriver and then the plastic trim pushes on no worries all right so while i got you here the the next little mod that i just put on um which i haven't bothered filming how to do it because let's be real what you gotta do is plug a plug in but um, it's an iDrive, of course. If you haven't heard of iDrive, man, look them up. Um, EVC, 
absolutely brilliant little module. Um, I got mine for 200 bucks and it completely changes the way the car drives. Um, absolutely unreal thing. So essentially all it does is plugs in, you probably can't see it, but up the top there on the throttle, top of the throttle where the throttle plugs in, you unplug it and this little piece plugs on the top of the factory pedal and then the factory harness plugs into the top of that so it just patches into it essentially run the cables up through the dash wherever you want to put it and this is what the unit looks like um, that's where I've mounted mine so um, once you turn the car on um, you can select actually I'll show you all right so that's what it looks like on when it's on and uh, that's currently in auto mode so what auto mode is going to do is depending on how much pressure you put on the accelerator um, is how fast it's going to react okay now if you hit mode once that turns it back to factory so when the missus is driving <laughs> she can have it standard um, eco you've got eight nine settings in eco this is really good for when you're full driving in the rocks or anything like that where you want to dampen the throttle a little bit that really dampens it out and then obviously ultimate and again nine settings from one through to nine now nine let me tell you i drove this yesterday on nine and i couldn't drive it like that it was it's it's crazy good so so responsive um yeah highly recommend 200 bucks best 200 bucks you'll ever spend all right so finished product both on both fitted both adjusted and uh yeah couldn't be happier the most not the most beautiful thing but they're practical right so pull them all the way out that's with them fully extended you can see right past the caravan they're absolutely brilliant and even just as an everyday mirror heaps more heaps more visibility so anyway hopefully you've enjoyed that little um insight into how to do it if you've got a 200 or really the same principle applies for most cars um the door cards might come off a little bit differently but for a 200 they're actually quite easy to pull off three screws um three plastic covers and uh that's it pull pull it off nice and gently and uh bob's your uncle so they say so anyway that's done the mirrors are on the eye drive's hooked up and mounted and i also put a new dash mat uh in there so um whenever you're sticking anything to your to your dash or or anything like that it's important to get rid of all the wax and grease remover things like armor oil and all your all your dash cleaners and stuff like that yeah sticky bits won't stick to them so i just use a little bit of wax and grease remover just on the area that i'm going to be sticking down and uh she's she's mickey mouse so matt's in eye drives in mirrors are on uh next to come is backbone system uh to fit the rhino rack exhaust and something else anyway that'll be on the next episode so hopefully you enjoyed that little that little run through and i'll see you on the next one